I just thought I would do a quick video update on how I've changed some pack out, give you some ideas for a quick diagnostic bag on the Vito TP4B. I've done a video, but I've, things have changed a little bit. The biggest thing that has changed is I've been keeping the fluke meter in there. And I like this meter. Still going to use it on a fairly regular basis. But the issue has been when you're trying to stick this in there and then trying to pack this in next to it and it gets a little tight and a little awkward and sometimes getting this thing out is a little eh, a little cumbersome so considering the fact that this is just a quick diagnostic bag really something to carry around lightweight i have the other two veto bags packed completely out with field piece meters fluke meters now it just depends on what i'm getting into but initial service showing up grab this one gets me through probably 70 percent of what i do and if i get into something big then i'll take it back grab my uh, tpx xl or the, the mct bag but for me carrying a heavy bag every single call just don't want to do it this thing only weighs about maybe 18 pounds loaded out 17 18 wanted to lighten that up a little bit first thing i started with and this is more about the meter change that i've made and we're going to get to that here in just a second but i, I got rid of the dikes big diagonal cutters and i just keep these little flush cut cutters for zip ties and to be perfectly honest if there's a wire i need to cut you can grab you can get in there and snip a wire real easy with these so I don't really need diagonal cutters on a you know if i need to clip off a wire put a new spade connector on it you know thing like that you know of course i've also got the stripper cutter plier milwaukee's so this icon light i've added that has a very good magnet on it a couple of different lights on it but you can stretch this thing all the way out and stick that to a cabinet and it's not going to be top heavy and want to tip over on you because that magnet is very strong so it'll it'll do just about anything you need to do it just happens that it was on sale and it slides right in there also added the adjustable or the ratcheting 11 and one with my quarter inch 5 16 Phillips and flathead screwdrivers on the other side. So I just added that. Obviously, if I need to make it longer, I can just pop that on there or add my extension. So it kind of one of those things that it, it just changes as you go along. You figure out a new little trick, make things a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. But anyway, the meter thing has been the more issue. So I was looking around on Amazon and I found another meter that I thought I would try. It's only $60. It wasn't sent to me. This isn't any review type deal. Just an idea. Went ahead and got that little Unity UT210C because it's real small. And we're going to check it out and compare it to the readings we get with our Fluke. But from what I've seen, it's going to be close enough that for quick diagnostics i can do everything i need to do with this thing i can check amps on it it's got an amp clamp as you can see right there i can do temperature it comes with a temperature probe that snaps in the bottom probably not going to use that very often but i can check capacitors i can check continuity ohms mega ohms kilo ohms diodes volts ac volts dc and for quick diagnosing that's all you need so it was more about finding something with a little more compact size so you see this fluke meter about the size it is in the hand this is the 324 plus and it checks continuity ohms volts ac dc capacitors temperature amps so it's a pretty standard meter 
but what I've decided to do is replace it with this. That's a tiny little amp clamp meter that checks everything that this fluke does. And then you compare the size right there and loop right there. It just drops right down in this bag. It takes up a whole lot less room, makes it easier to slide my drill in there. The leads are fairly nice leads. They're not real thick. They're not stiff. They're not the silicone leads, but I mean they bend and they they will do the job. I ordered these replacement fluke needle tip leads off Amazon. They come in a four pack, two red, two black, for spares on my fluke leads. This fluke will charge you $35 for just one set of their fluke leads. You can get these on Amazon. I can get four of them for like 15 bucks. And they will snap right on these the same way they do on the fluke so if I need to get into some Molex plugs I can use those and they'll work just fine on these leads so we're going to check this thing real quick and we're going to see how accurate it is compared to a fluke but the main reason I got it is I can roll this thing up nice and snug and it'll fit right down in this bag and take up a whole lot less room and it'll allow me to slide my drill in there a whole lot easier everything's loosened up a little bit it's not so tight and trying to jerk and pull and get things out so let's see how accurate this thing is compared to a fluke Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare these two checking a capacitor. It's a 35.5 capacitor. I'm going to start with the fluke. So we're getting a right there 35.7 on the fluke. We check the fan 5.1. Now everybody knows the newer field piece and these fluke meters have a quick response time when it comes to checking those capacitors. This takes about a couple of seconds, but I'm not in that big of a rush that two seconds of my time is going to kill me on a service call diagnosing something. Let's check the accuracy of this. So we'll slide it over. And we are at 35.3 right there. Check the fan side. Five point zero one. So as far as checking a capacitor, this little thing's pretty accurate. Let's go see what it does with volts and amps. And we are at 246 right you can see 246 volts right there. Now we're going to go check this unity out and see kind of voltage it gives us. Two hundred and forty six volts. Exactly the same as the fluke. And let's see how the amps compare. Alright, so we've got the unit turned on. We'll start with the fan. giving us about 0.95 amps and then let's grab our compressor real quick 
I'm just going to go with the common wire off the compressor. And we are at 7.1 amps. Not bad for a 13 year old unit. Well, let's see what the Unity gives us. Unity. It's small and compact, but it's got an amp clamp, so let's set it for amps. It's got a rubber siding on the side, rubber grip. This knob has rubber on it, so it's real easy to grab hold of. And turn. So we'll check the fan first. The fan is at about 1.1 amps, 1.0. So uh, there we go, 0 0.97, 0 0.95. Get it right in the middle. So the amps are pretty close for that fan. Let's see what it gives us on the compressor. 7.5. I believe the flute was given a 7.1, but uh, I'm not worried about 0.4 amps. Doing a quick diagnostic check. Go back over here again to the fan. 0.98, 1.1. Kind of depends on where you hold this wire in here. Get it kind of in the middle. But, uh, I'm good with that. I'm not worried too much about that. So with all that said guys, very accurate on voltage, very accurate on capacitors. Haven't used it out in the field yet. We'll see what it does with DC and continuity and things like that. But it does all the same functions that this fluke meter does. It was $56 I think on Amazon and for that price it's worth taking a chance for something more compact that i can just drop down here in this bag and use it on just basic everyday diagnostics quick checks things like that like i said this is going to stay on the truck now with that said i got this one for uh 80 this fluke believe it or not they had discontinued it at the local lowe's store here they were typically selling them for like about 220 dollars they discontinued this model there they had one left they had it in the packaging and you know what they do they just take a marker and put a price on it and initial it and i just happened to walk by that day and see it hanging there typically you have to grab a tag take it up to the front because they keep these meters locked up they had this one hanging there right where all the electrical stuff is with the meters where they have their fluke stuff on display for the in the electrical section 79.99 the guy's initials on it i snatched it up i mean that saved me 150 dollars roughly on this meter and i've had it for two years works great glad i decided to walk in that day at lowe's and i was just looking for light bulbs so if my light hadn't went out i wouldn't have been looking for light bulbs and somebody else would have walked away with this so this is going to stay in the truck with my field piece going to use it still regularly but for quick diagnostics this little meter 0.4 amps on a compressor 0.2 amps on a fan motor i'm not going to cry over that but this thing you fit it right in your hand like i said amps temperature ohms continuity capacitors ac dc voltage and hertz so when you turn it on you just got your select button it does have a backlight on it you hold that button down you get a backlight in there same backlight that's on this fluke pretty much has a hold function on it minimum and maximum on it and then that's your select so if you want to go through ranges and selections you'll just go through that depends on what setting you're at but that unity looks like a pretty good reliable little quick diagnostic meter to check things with it's small it's compact i'm going to take and glue a magnet on the back of it same way i did this fluke doesn't come with a magnet i glued one on the back of it it's got the rubber coating on it won't slip won't slide has always worked i'm going to do the same thing on the back of this and uh 
we're going to put this thing to test in the field and see how reliable it is but for 60 bucks to be more compact save a little room in this bag lighter works with needle tip leads why not give it a shot so if you got one of these TP4Bs or TP3B, um, you're looking, or, or one of the MB bags, you're looking for a smaller, kind of a compact meter, save you some space, give this thing a shot. Like I said, look at the difference. And it's even that much smaller than the field piece meter. So guys, like, subscribe, appreciate you watching. Have a good day.